Hi folks. So you may have noticed it's been, uh, I don't know, at least five or six days. Um, now I'm trying to do a little vlog here but we've got the wind blowing like a flipping don't know what here. It's like, like a mini storm going on. Um, I'm just waiting for a little lull in the wind. Uh, I have no idea how badly this is picking it up now. Uh, it might be fine, it might be blowing a flipping, I mean, anyway, so we'll do our best. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, it's been a few days, uh, you may be wondering why I've taken so long to get around to doing a video. Uh, and I don't want to discuss it right here and now, to be quite honest, right out in public. Um, but, uh, when I get indoors, I'll definitely do a bit more of a, um, you know, uh, um, Ooh, sorry, brain's not working. Oops, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, so um, yeah, I'll do a bit more of a in-depth uh, why I've not got around to doing any videos for the last few days, uh, and it has been getting under my skin a little bit. And like I've always said countless times in as many videos as you can watch uh, I've said where I like to try and be consistent with my videos and try and keep you know maybe not on a daily basis I'll try to be a daily basis sometimes um, but uh, as often and as regularly as I can uh, upload videos anyway um, as I said a uh, lot of emotional stuff going on at the moment uh, so like I said, uh, it's just been a bit difficult and I'll go into more detail later. Um, this wind is horrendous at the moment. You, you can't film outdoors in this. Not with the camera I've got particularly, but I think even I've noticed even with a decent camera and a decent microphone and stuff, you know, if it's blowing like this, it's going to pick it up like you won't believe. So, anyway, uh, like I said, I just wanted to put something out there at least just so you guys uh, have got some context into what's going on with me uh, and you know that I haven't forgotten you guys or you know I've not abandoned the uh, channel or anything it's just that uh, it's just been really difficult and like I said I don't really want to discuss this in a public space uh, right this minute uh, but I'll definitely go into a bit more in depth when I get indoors uh, so anyway uh, we're in Soho Square at the moment uh, I'm waiting for John um, uh, I was supposed to be meeting him about three o'clock. I saw him earlier on because uh, he wanted to see what he wanted me to see one of his clients. Uh, you know, just as a, like a sort of uh, an inspirational sort of what's the name? The guy's going through a little bit of difficulty, and you know, what John wanted me to meet me wanted him to meet me uh, so that I could hopefully help. Uh, you know give him some sort of encouragement and so on and what have you. Anyway, again, I'll probably go into more detail about that later. Um, right, now we've got an ambulance or something come screaming. Oh, it's a fire engine, in fact. Um, so it's not only have we got to compete with the wind, we've now got to compete with sirens. Uh, great, eh? So, picked a, picked a moment, didn't I? I picked the right moment, didn't I, to do this vlog. So, anyway, um, yeah, there was a couple of other things, but like I said, it's really distracting uh, being out here uh, with this wind and everything and what have you sort of thing. So, anyway, I think what I'll do is uh, I'm going to leave it there because it's the wind's just picking up, it's getting worse. Uh, right, so I'll catch you guys later back in the house where hopefully I can have a decent conversation without flipping the interruption and noise. Right, so I'm going to leave it there for now and I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now. Hi folks, so continuing the conversation on from earlier on today, uh, so yeah, like I said, uh, obviously I've not done a couple of, I've not done any videos for a few days, uh, that's, it's very complex reasons, there's no simple one thing uh, that I can point to, but basically uh, I've been quite busy with a lot of different things. Uh, and but also emotionally uh, uh, been struggling a little bit emotionally um, so uh, yeah uh, I don't know how to frame 
this exactly, but um, I don't know. I don't know how to to uh, to frame it. Um, just really struggling at the moment. Let's put it that way. I'm I'm struggling. Uh, and like I said, it's not one any one particular thing, uh, and it's not a person or people. Uh, it's it's purely my stuff. It's purely to do with my emotions and my head and what have you. Uh, and like I said, uh, I'm just just really struggling with the stuff at the moment. Um, I'm just finding it really, really difficult, um, and it's interesting because there's there's a ton of stuff coming up in the next couple of months. Um, really good stuff, really positive stuff. One of them being I'm going to be involved in a conference. Uh, I missed it last year, but uh, this year I've been booked for the two days, and I'm going to be pre presenting uh, possibly on the main stage. So. We're talking about nearly 200 people I'm going to be present, co-presenting to uh, and it's going to be videoed as well or filmed. Um, it goes out live on the internet. Uh, I'll try and get the details for all this so if you guys happen to want to catch this conference uh, it's about homelessness and it's about um, mental health and physical health. Uh, they're the general subjects that are usually covered. They're usually uh, will be much more Pacific areas uh, so you know it, it might be a group that's working somewhere in, in Northampton or something that will, because it's, it's actually an international conference as well so these people do come from other parts of the world come to it uh, it's been running for the last five years I think this is its sixth year I think it's either the fifth year or sixth year that it's it's been run uh, I missed just one of the years, so like I said, I was there when right from the first one. Um, anyway, so like I said, this this year we're going to be on the main stage, me and John Connolly. Uh, so there's that. There's, so there's a lot of stuff with John. Funny enough, got a bit, I saw John today. Um, he wants me to uh, uh, write a paragraph uh, for a book that's going to be published. There's two books that uh, are hopefully are going to get published uh, sometime next year. Um, one's by an English guy, uh, another therapist that John knows, uh, and the guy called, um, I can never remember his name, uh, I think it's Jay Levy, Jay Levy, um, this, this guy called Jay Levy, uh, I've shown you his book before. Anyway, I didn't plan on saying any of this actually, so I didn't bring the book with me to show you the book. And but I'll put all the links and everything in the description box about this. Uh, so if you guys are interested, if you guys want to catch the conference, uh, it will be uh, filmed live. Uh, I'll tell you exactly when the dates and everything. It's going to be next month, early next month, I think, on the third and fourth of next month. But uh, like I said, I'll make sure I get all the details and everything sorted for you, so that if you if if you want to, if you're available, if you're uh, around at that the time that it's going to be on, it's an all day thing, well it's two days, like I say, it's two days, third and fourth I think, um, I believe both days are filmed uh, in the main uh, hall, then you've got like little workshops uh, that go on in other rooms, me and John have done a couple of those, uh, but because our groups were so popular that we've now got, we've graduated to the main stage, as it were, the, the big room, like I say, there's a huge big conference room uh, and it's around about 200 people, sometimes I think it might be a bit more than that or not 100% certain on the actual numbers, but it's definitely over 100 people uh, audience wise that we'll be pre presenting to, uh, I've never presented to that many people in my life before, uh, the maximum I think I've ever done is about maybe 30 people in one go, you know, 30 people in a room where I've presented to, uh, but uh, you know, so and this time it's going to actually be on a stage and it's going to be filmed, like I say, and it's going to be going live on the internet. Um, so, like I say, I'll get all the details for that for you, for you guys if you want to watch that. Uh, I'll, I'll also find out exactly what time we're going to be on uh, and so on. So, like I say, if you want to catch that, you can catch me and John making the complete 
asses ourselves. Uh, no, I don't, <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, and uh, yeah, so anyway, so that, there's that. Like I say, there's the, the two books that John wants me to write a paragraph uh, or at least one page. Uh, uh, so I, you know, and also John wants to uh, write his own book, uh, and he wants me to co-write it with him. Uh, so we've got. I've got a few things coming up. There's a couple of other things as well. Oh, and I've started the new anger group. So that's another thing. I've just started the new anger group. Uh, that's going to be every Tuesday now. Uh, I believe from 11 o'clock to 12, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so I'm going to be co-facilitating that group on a Tuesday. Uh, that's for the homeless, basically. It's an anger group. I co-founded the original one with John Connolly. Uh, I'm now going to be co-running this one with uh, his um, colleague Daniel, uh, so I'm going to be co-facilitating with Daniel. Um, so like I said, I did the first one this Tuesday, uh, just gone, um, and yeah, so there's a lot of stuff happening, uh, and a lot of things coming up in the next month or so, uh, that's going to get me and keep me very, very busy. Now I'll try and vlog. In the meantime and around those times when I'm going to be doing the conference and so on I'll try and do well in fact I'm, it's possible I know I can do a couple of little vlogs whilst I'm at the conference uh, so I will do a couple of vlogs uh, of my own sort of thing um, but anyway uh, like I said today's been a little bit better than uh, you know in terms of my emotional uh, content because uh, I went to, with, to see John uh, and he wanted me to sit in on one of his sessions, one of his counselling sessions, uh, with a with a chap, uh, one of his one of his uh, clients, uh, and basically wanted me to sort of, uh, I guess, be a mentor in a way. You know what I mean? Just like you know, say to the guy, tell him a bit about myself and my story and my recovery journey and and what have you. Um, so yeah, uh, like I say so. So those those are positive things, and those are things that are helping. Because at the moment, I must admit, and like I say, it's not down to any person or anything like that. It's purely down to my. I don't know how to describe it, emotional capacity. I don't know if that's the right way of phrasing it. Um, yeah. Uh, so just. Basically, just um, I, I, like I said, emotionally, I'm just really, really drained, uh, and I'm, I'm kind of really struggling. And there are moments and times in the last few days where I seriously wondered about my own sanity, uh, to be quite honest. Um, and that, like I say, it's not because of what anybody's done or said or whatever. It's purely down to my. Uh, issues. Do you know what I mean? It's purely down to my own head and my, and maybe I'm stretching myself too thin in different things. You know what I mean? With with different people or what? I don't know exactly. I I really need to sit down and and have a little think about why I'm feeling this the way I am at the moment. Anyway, so uh, I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. Um, as I say, obviously there's a lot of good positive stuff coming. Uh, but at the moment, in terms of my emotions, I'm just really drained at the moment. Um, and it's been grating on me about the fact that I've not done any videos. And that, that's one of the things with me, is that the longer I leave something, and put it off, and put it off, and put it off, and the longer, the harder it is then to get back to it. Uh, so, and that's, so that's another reason why I like to try and stay consistent with my channel. It's not just because I think it's polite and also hopefully it helps to keep you guys engaged and keep you guys subscribed and, and, and what have you sort of thing that um, you know for, for my own sake do you know what I mean because like I said you know if, if, if I leave things for too long uh, it, it gets harder and harder for me to get back to what I was doing right so I'm gonna put this with the other video that I made earlier on this, this afternoon when I was waiting for John um, and uh, yeah, I'm sure there's a ton of other things that I was going to say, and now it's kind of like my head's kind of getting a bit 
Uh, yeah, and because like, again, I don't want to get too heavy and you know what I mean? Because obviously, as I've always said, oh, sorry, yes, that was another thing as well. The uh, sorry, I knew there was something else. Um, the video uh, that I was involved in, I've uh, I've liked it, so it's it's featured on my channel. Uh, but I've also got the DVD of it now. John gave me a couple of copies of the DVD. Uh, and I'm trying at the moment to see if I can get the DVD to upload to my computer and then I can upload it to my channel uh, as a video on its own sort of thing rather than it coming from another channel. Uh, so it'd be on my channel. Uh, I've already asked the people who made the film, I already asked their permission about whether I could do that and they said it was fine. Uh, so it was only verbal though of course but you know hopefully they remember and they'll stick to their word. Uh, but when I spoke to the guy about it, when we were making this uh, documentary, uh, they said like, no, no, if you've got a channel and what's then, we want it because we want to get it out there to as many people as possible anyway. Uh, so they were more than happy for me to do that. Obviously, I give them all the credit for for making the documentary. But um, well, I say documentary. It's, it's documentary slash training video slash um, information video, I suppose. Uh, is maybe the best way of describing it, I'm not sure. Uh, but, yeah, uh, so I was involved in that. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen it yet, I don't know if you've caught it on my channel or not. Uh, again, maybe I can put a link in the description, you can go and watch it on the other channel. Um, uh, but, yeah, and John's in there, John Connolly, uh, and one of the doctors that works there at the same place where John works. Um, so, yeah, uh, so there's that. And there was a couple of other things, like I said, but completely escaped me now. So, right, okay, I'm gonna leave it there because I'm sure this has gone on long enough. Uh, this is a really long video. Uh, you may be wondering why I'm doing it in my kitchen, basically because my kitchen has got to be the one, the only room where this there's an, it's got great lighting essentially because like with the strip light. It illuminates evenly across the room. Whereas sometimes, if I do it in the living room or whatever, even with the big lamp on, the light isn't distributed evenly. Do you know what I mean? So you got shadows all over the place and blah blah. blah. And I just wanted something nice and bright and clear. Uh, so that's why I'm doing it in my kitchen. Seems a bit of an odd place, maybe, but uh, hey ho, you know why not? Eh? You know, it's... Right. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there, folks, uh, and I shall catch you guys. Later. Bye for now.